for me the take home messages from be mobile one and two that were presented uh, recently at the eula is that um, it was really effective for the whole spectrum of exospondylo arthritis with having data on radiographic or formerly known ankylosing spondylitis but also for non-radiographic forms of exospondylo arthritis and what was shown was a very rapid and clinically meaningful reduction of key signs and symptoms of the disease and um, also especially when looking at patients with having objective signs of inflammation markedly with an elevated CFP value or um, high activity by MRI, they really responded well on the therapy. I think that the treatment landscape um, will be broadened with bimikizumab if the approval uh, will be received from EMA and uh, FDA, as this would be the first dual inhibition of IL-17A and F available for patients with uh, actual spondyloarthritis. So this would be a further mode of action in the uh, therapeutic armamentarium uh, treating extra spa patients. What could have been shown in the um, data presented at the EULA was that especially patients with um, high elevated CRP values or inflammation in the MRI, so objective signs of inflammation, really responded well in the therapy with bimikizumab. So I think this could be one of the patients group really um, benefiting from this treatment. And as we know from um, already phase three trials from psoriasis, skin psoriasis, or also psoriatic arthritis, bimikizumab is really effective when it comes to uh, treating um, a psoriatic skin disease. So I think this would also be a patient group having extra spa plus psoriasis would be one of the key um, groups that I would consider eligible for bimikizumab treatment. So as always, I mean, what was presented at the EULA were the short-term study data from B-Mobile 1 and 2. And to have a better feeling also, especially for long-term data and for safety data, we will have to have um, um, more studies on the long-term treatment with bimikizumab. Then they can also come from psoriasis and uh, psoriatic arthritis, but they also need to be from exospondylar arthritis patients. So this is one of the main reasons that we um, will need further studies and additional also the um, placement and the therapeutic um, algorithm will be needed and therefore we really need head-to-head -head studies including bimikizumab and the already approved drugs for actual spondyloarthritis.